and welcome to Art Chat. I'm Marge Lee, and today we're in Lakewood chatting with Augusta Crane. Now this is the second of two Art Chats with Augusta, and today we're talking with Augusta about her collecting. Welcome to Art Chat, Augusta. Thank you. Thank and you. when I say collecting, boy, you do it in a big <laughs> way. What okay. is this wonderful collection we're looking at right here? Okay, uh, these are pretty much all uh, cut crystal perfume bottles, and most of them uh, were made uh, maybe 1700s and 1800s in Czechoslovakia. And uh, they have uh, all different colors, most of them are like clear or blue or green and uh, I love the colors and the, the way that it was uh, carved and uh, most of them are hand cut crystals. Okay. Augusta, I am particularly drawn by the ones that seem to be almost in relief. They're almost sculptural. Yes. Uh -huh. T talk about those a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, but most of them are pretty much uh, carved uh, from the front uh -huh. and I have uh, one uh, special perfume bottle here it's carved um, both ways uh -huh. so if you see from the back it looks like you have a back of that lady. That How woman. long have you been collecting perfume bottles? Uh, maybe uh, 40, 50 years. <laughs> and where uh -huh. do you find so many perfume bottles? Um, my late husband and I used to uh, go to the flea markets or antique shows pretty much every weekend or every other weekend if there's anything open. Uh -huh. So that was kind of our uh, hobby, walking around and kind of investigating all beautiful objects and um, that was part of the Part of the fun, yeah, part right, of your weekend. Right. And right. I know you've got two more cabinets uh -huh. of these. And, and they include a very interesting kind of perfume bottle. Right. And some, and the, these ones, are the, it's uh, called the Mary Gregory. Uh, a lot of uh, Americans might be used to it, and some European ones too. Uh -huh. and, and some of them are, were scent bottles that women would carry with them. Right. I have another cabinet that has uh, more like a lay down or purse mm -hmm. type uh, perfume bottles. And in old days, the uh, woman didn't change clothes all the mm -hmm. time. They wear, wore all these long dresses. They, apparently, that was their controlling the... Mm -hmm. It was uh, her fragrance. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Those are really beautiful too. Well, yeah. this is not your only collection. You also collect uh -huh. fine art. Let's uh -huh. talk a little bit about that. Okay. And let's just turn right over here uh -huh. and look at this stunning work. Tell us about um, this. This is uh, one, his name is Labadang. He was born in Vietnam, but when uh, he, uh, and he uh, moved to France when he was like, in high teens, and he pretty much ended up his life over there. And uh, uh, because of his uh, origin from uh, Oriental country, Vietnam, and uh, so you can see a lot of blending of Oriental flavor to mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. like a more French, uh, mm -hmm. European uh, style. So mm -hmm. I have. This painting is more like uh, two-dimensional. I mean, mm -hmm. there's uh, some uh, depth in there too, but uh, mm -hmm. I have another one Let's that go look is at the other uh, one too. very uh, three-dimensional. Same artist. Right. I love this work. Uh -huh. Talk a little bit about this. First of all, what, what's the medium here that, that he's uh, working in? I, I think it's kind of a paper, paper? molding. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know whether it's called a paper mache. I'm not really familiar uh -huh. with it. It almost looks like uh, a paper mache. Uh -huh. And I love uh, the depth, like even the framing that he started is like a floating and the three dimensional and at the same time you can see the serene kind of almost landscape nature over in the back little uh, opening With and this up here. right mm -hmm. and I, I think it has a lot of oriental feeling to me uh-huh very interesting. Uh -huh. Now, people may not be so familiar with this artist, but we're going to go to a work now that people will be familiar with. Uh -huh. It's over here in this wall. Let's okay. take a look at that one. Uh -huh. 
And uh, this is Mark Chagall's lithograph, and I love his paintings. It, it is so poetic and uh, musical and very dreamy. Like um, a lot of times he's uh, like solid objects, like houses who are floating and uh, like a person flying and fish and horse and, and it, it uh, like I feel art is a uh, reflection of the inner self and though he might have some kind of a dreamery interesting stories or like a uh, floating minds at the time when he was painting and being a viewer I feel like we can kind of reflect ourselves and uh, uh, that became a medium and I love just looking at his uh, paintings and think about my stories through his uh -huh, painting. Uh -huh. Kind of a reverie of, of, uh -huh. of sorts, uh -huh. wonderful motion in, uh -huh. in his work, and this uh -huh. is a really, uh, really lovely work. Uh -huh. Now, Chagall is not the only well-known artist that you have. Let's go take a look at another one in the okay. kitchen area. Let's, okay. let's look at that. Okay. <laughs> wow. H.M., and I know that stands for Matisse. Right. Tell us about this work. Okay, this is a just a small piece, lady uh, carrying a water, and I like the symbol, I love blue, and I like the symbolism of water. Water is in any uh, object that has life, like a human body has a lot of water, and the seas, a lot of uh, live creatures underneath, and the blue, and I, I just, the simplicity and the, the color and the symbolism of water bottle on lady. Uh -huh. So I, it's one of my favorite pieces too. And I believe this is one of his cutouts uh -huh. uh, that he used to do particularly in his older age right. as he was losing uh -huh. eyesight. So it's a really, a really stunning work. As is the work right next to it, again, Another major artist. <laughs> okay. Let's let's talk about this one. This is really intriguing. Uh, that this is by Salvador uh, Dali, and I understand he painted uh, this uh, with this theme on dimension, uh, two dimensional, and uh, later on he uh, kind of diverted to a different uh, medium, and this is one of those. And if you see from the distance, you will see some face, mm -hmm. uh, famous president. And uh, if you get closer, there's a nude la uh, lady the right, there. right there. So it makes you kind of, I mean, he did a lot of uh, kind of outrageous theme. He was known uh, for that uh -huh. sort of juxtaposition. Right. And, right. and the president, for those who are, who are saying, who is uh -huh. the president, uh -huh. is Abraham Lincoln. Uh -huh. so. And if you go to the Dali Museum, you uh -huh. will see a very large work uh -huh. in which he's done something uh -huh. uh, quite so. similar. So it's a stunning, a stunning piece. Now let's move over beyond the kitchen and end with another work that I really like as well. Uh, okay. Lead the way. Okay, uh, this is done by Agam. He was born in Israel, so he's a Jewish artist. And he did a lot of uh, kinetic type of art, kind of a moving uh, sculpture type thing. But he, I have three of his uh, lithograph, and like even though it's done on flat surface, and the, the other ones are just geometric straight lines, but you can see a lot of movement even from there. I think he was kind of uh, very philosophical in uh, his own uh, belief, and I feel like it reflects a lot of his complex whatever uh, thoughts. It is and, simple but uh, complex right, right, all at the same time. Right. And it seems so perfect for you. Very complex, very oh. <laughs> uh, colorful, very skillful. So thank you. Thank you, Augusta Craig, you. for sharing your collection with us. Thank you. And sharing your own artwork.
Thank you. We, we are delighted to be guests in your home. Thank you. And it was a pleasure. Thank you. Well, thanks to all of you as well for joining us. Make sure you see both these art chats with Augusta Crane. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.